Hello, in this video, our intention is to run our first pipeline in ADO. If you see, this is a sample pipeline I ran. So we'll take it here that like last time we did a check-in over here in Azure repos, right? You can see the previous video if you have not present your code in the Azure repos. So we'll create our first continuous integration pipeline by which our code will get built as soon as we push anything new into that code, we will learn about uh, YAML pipeline, right? And to do this, uh, you might need to have some free agent that I have already explained in my previous video, which is here. This is the video that how you can get the free 1800 minutes from Microsoft. So you need to have that build agent available, right? Then only you can do it. You just have to fill a request form and Microsoft will give you an agent which you can use for 1800 minutes per month. So you have to have that for uh, running the build, but still you can understand the process, how it goes. So let's begin. So in the last video, we saw that how the running locally and remotely is different. Right in local, you need all this software and in agent also you need the same thing. But in agent, nobody is present here. You are present, let's say Gaurav is sitting here. So he can press the button in this IntelliJ Eclipse and VS, right? But in agent, nobody is sitting. It's simply a machine, right? So here we operate via command line, right? So if we find a way by which we can uh, write some commands, right? Then whatever code you were running locally, it can be run in agents. Okay, let's see how it can be done. So this was our code, very simple code where we are just opening browsers like I'm opening Chrome and Edge and Firefox, right? And we were able to do that successfully. And even we created a test ng file where we were running in parallel, right? So like, firstly, as I told you that in agent, nobody's setting to run your code. So you have to have some commands by which this code will run, right? So as we saw earlier also, so there is a command called as MVN test, right? By which these tests will get run. So let me see if it gets run successfully. Then if that agent can run this same command, then it does not need me, right? So it can run all of this code on it by itself, right? So let's see that what is the output of this MVN test over here. So there are two ways of running this. One is this MVN test I showed you. Another is right. We, so one test is like, we just, uh, click here. Then all test gets run. Right. Another way is right. Click on test ng and run this. Right. So we will see how both the ways can be replicated in an agent and your tests, which are running locally will run over there as well in Microsoft Azure cloud. Okay. So if you see now it's printing that starting Chrome browser and we'll see that it will get launched, but you will notice that it's not running in parallel as of now, uh, because that parallelism I have given in the test ng, right? So there are two ways of running. One is directly I am running MVN test, right? Another one is if I run the same test via right clicking and running the test ng file, then it will pick this thing that parallel equal to methods and it will run in parallel, right? I will show you. So here, if you see that all the tests run, so MVN test is a good command that can help us, right? So another way is if I right click here and run this, right? So I'll show you both the ways so that you can reproduce both of them in the agent, whatever way you want to run. Or if you have any other commands, like any other frameworks you are using, and instead of Maven, you are using Gradle. So the process remains the same. So you have to understand the basic concepts, right? That we are running a command line locally and similarly we'll reproduce the same in the agent. So now if you see that they both the browsers got launched parallelly because this time I ran via test ng, not uh, like uh, giving that MVN test command directly, right? So that can also be done over here, but since I did not knew it, how to, uh, how to pass it, right? Or I don't remember, I have used it. So I have used chat GPT, right? Chat GPT is a good tool for testers, as I would say. So let me show you that. Right, so if you see that, 
I have created a video on this that bit.ly slash chat GPT for testers. Right, you can see that video where I have shown how I have used chat GPT in my day-to-day -day work in testing and automation. Okay, so here I asked the simple question, how to pass test ng file to Maven, right? So what it did is it has given me this code that open your form.xml and copy paste this code, right? Let's do that. Okay. So I should know what is pom.xml file, right? So to understand chat GPT also, uh, the, so you have to understand that uh, you understand the basics, right? If somebody don't know pom.xml, they might, they might be, a diff they may, might find it difficult to understand this, right? So I'll copy this code as of now. This is my pom.xml file. So it has shown that under plugins, it is telling since I already have that plugins tag. So I will just, uh, copy this portion of the code. Okay. And I will paste it. Okay. And it's telling that let's read what it is telling after this. So it is telling me that uh, replace your surefire version here. So we have to replace here and the path to the test ng XML file. Okay. So in our Maven surefire, like the way we started, the version is 2. 22.1. So I will paste the same here. Okay. And if you see these files are in the same directory, testng and pom.xml. So let me change this. Yeah. So let me remove this and we have testng.xml. So let me give the command mvn clean test now to see that if things are running in parallel or not. Right, so it will delete this uh, target folder when you give the clean. So it will delete the previous classes that were generated. Okay. So now it is starting the Chrome browser. Okay, the browser is started. In parallel, if you see another browser is started, Right. So that means parallelism is working now. So we followed chat GPT instruction here and it worked right. And the uh, test is running edge Firefox and Chrome is also closed. Okay. So all of them ran successfully and we have the reports generated here as well. Like this email report is there. Okay. Now we just have to uh, replicate this MVN test in the code, right? So since I did some changes in the code, let me push those changes. So as we saw in one of our previous video, how we do is we give the git status command, right? And I can add all the files that are here. Then I can commit it minus, I can say that Maven Surefire plugin config added for test and git. Okay, we did this change. I will see that which branch I am on test. So I will get push origin test, right? And I can give the remote branch a name. Maybe I can call it test ng, that branch name. Okay. We saw this in our previous video, like how we can push our code to the remote, right? Let's go to repos and we'll go to our web automation repo. Let me refresh this. Okay, so there is a branch over here called as test ng. So let's create a pull request to merge our code. I can give some name that test ng configuration added. Okay, so for now I'm leaving it blank. Okay, so I will just create the PR now and I'll complete it so that my changes get merged whatever is the latest code. Okay, so it's merged, let's see. Okay, in the form.xml file, right, we made some changes. Yes, you see that changes are here. Now let's create, let's do the thing for which we are here. So for that, you have to go to this pipeline, okay. Click on this button over here called as new pipeline. Right. Since our code is in Azure repo, in the next video, we'll see that uh, if your code is in GitHub, 
in this one we'll use the azure repos so i'll click here now it is showing that which all repos are there so we'll focus on web automation now because uh, our project is of web autom like the name of the project is web automation right and web automation in java and we created in a previous video a uh, repo called as web automation right the name of the repo and that folder in your local can be different right so i'll select that now as we are do using maven right so i can select this option for maven right so if you see it has already created a sample file for me right let me try to explain you because this is very important this is the base of uh, everything right so here if you see that as i told you that we'll create a yaml file right so just like example like in various programming language right in java you give command called as uh, system dot out dot print and then in c sharp we say that uh, console dot i train right in python we say print so all these commands are interpreted right or compiled and instruction is given to the operating system which prints the things right so in this case what has happened is instead of using this traditional programming language azure has used this pipeline right many other also like in github actions also you use some different files right so so what happens is whatever you write in this it has a meaning associated which agent will understand and it will do things for you right so here trigger for main means that on what uh, that when this pipeline should be run okay so if you type main here so whenever somebody is merging some code into the main branch this code will run okay and now as uh, as we saw in the previous video right this bit uh, where i have explained about that what is the difference here and here so we mentioned that what agent i want to use right maybe your system is designed only for linux or for a different operating system right so let me show you a link which i will paste it in the so this is the place microsoft hosted agent so microsoft has this various agents right if you want a mac os right and it also tells you that which all softwares are installed right so we will use this windows agent because uh, windows is like we run our program in windows i am using a windows operating system so if you see here it will tell you which all softwares are installed on this server okay so here you will see that maven is already in installed and what is the version of maven which, which is there and the good part is that uh, with this you need not to uh, install these browsers right setting the paths which we generally set right java 8 11 17 and 21 so all the four versions of java are already installed and their path are already set in this right and various other software if you see python latest version is there go is there ruby is there so java is there so all of these things are already installed in this agent so what you have to do is you just have to give that which agent you want to use so if you mention windows agent will understand that okay this person wants to use windows right and which version since we are using the version 17 you can type 17 and if you don't understand this you can just copy this and paste it search here right if you just search it the first link you will get on the microsoft website where all these things are explained in detail right so here uh, it is told that what is the pom file right sometimes if your pom file is having a different name or maybe let's say it is in a different path right and where are your test result files if you want to show code coverage so there are many options right but some options are required so you see how i know that we have to mention 1.17 because java version 17 it's mentioned over here right after 11 it is 1.7 we have to mention okay so all these things are explained here and you can use even more so i'm just explaining the basics to you okay so it is our 17 version and we want to use 64 bit right and instead of package i will give the command as test over here okay and let's save and run okay so now what it is asking is what happens is whenever uh, you create a yaml pipeline uh, and this so where this code would be stored right we want this code to be stored 
in in the same repo right so here i should see my file so what it will do is it will merge your this file into your main code so it's asking that whether you want to create a branch right or you want to merge directly so i want to merge directly so i'm saying save and run so now what will happen is since uh, i have merged something in main and the trigger was that now if you see the job is queued okay now it is waiting for an agent to get it right so it has got an agent now the job is starting okay it is checking out i need not to even give this command that from where it has to get because it's there in the azure repo and it automatically takes care right and whatever time this build will take right this pipeline will take that would be subtracting from 1800 minus that okay so whatever uh, time this build takes let's say it takes 5 minutes right so so from 1800 that time would be subtracted whatever this takes suppose it takes 5 minutes then in this month i can run 1795 more minutes right let's see how it works so do you saw that how simple it was to run so firstly we understood that how to run locally via command line right so whatever we did locally via command line we have to just replicate that right and uh, and yaml file has made it very easy for us we need not to explain many things we told okay agent with what operating system we want now maven already has a task so we just told that okay we are using 1.70 and we want to run mvn test right and for development code they want to create sometimes package so that's why if you see by default package was written over there okay so if you saw that it is uh, completed successfully right let's see if so here it says that 100 and you can see whatever it was showing locally the same way it runs over there it's just that you are seeing a video kind of of a remote system right it showed that whatever that all these cases have passed right whatever we wrote and now how to read this right so here we have this right you see the test over here in this you will see the test right how much time it took it took one minute 31 seconds at what time it was run how was the how many test cases got passed and it was which commit so this is the number of the commit and this is the branch on which we ran the pipeline okay and uh, so let's go here uh, in the test and see so there were three tests so by default here if you see only failed are shown right so we can click on the pass and we can see that okay uh, which all test got passed so these all the three tests that we ran got passed right now where are the reports right so in local this is the second part of it i'm covering that how you can see those reports because in local we can see this target folder over here right but since it ran in a remote system, I need to get the output of this target or this test output folder from there. Okay, so for that, we have to modify our pipeline. How we can do that? Go to the pipeline. This was our pipeline. Edit it, right? And I'll show you that how you can use it in an easier way as well. So on the right side, you will see that uh, there are some inbuilt things which are coming right so if i say i want to run a command on this remote system so it gives me a command line i can add okay and be careful where your cursor is placed it will try to do it over there right so let me paste it here right so what command i want to run suppose i want to know that okay what is the current directory over there okay i can run the dir command over there Okay, and even I can create my own folder if I want because it's a Windows operating system and it can run like this, right? So I give dir command and let me, I want to know which version of Maven is there, right? So I can give this command as well. Okay, so these things on the right side can help you. So it's an assistant. You can click on this button, show assistant, and it will bring you this, or you can even search on uh, this Microsoft website that what all these tasks are available. Right, there are so many details to it. I'm just covering the very basic of it, right? So let's go back to how we can see the reports, right? For that, there is something called as uh, publish your artifacts. Uh, 
Okay, so this is the one published pipeline artifacts. So if I click on it, it is asking me what is the, so I can say target folder that we are, or I can give a generic name called as test output because it is the result of this test that we are running, right? And I don't want to give anything else. I can just click add. Again, you have to be careful where you are placing it right now. Okay. Apart from that, and it is asking that what is the target path? Okay, that which folder we want that. So I am saying that I just want target folder, right? I don't want uh, that it should take the copy of this whole thing, right? It can take, but I don't want to see my code in the output. I just want to see this target and test output folder, okay? So again, what I will do for target, I already did. And let me rename it target folder detail. Okay, and since I want one more, I will place my cursor over here. Search for, and when you start using it, you will learn these things, right? Because you can ask that how I would know that I have to use publish pipeline artifacts, right? As you start using it, exploring it, you will get to know all of this, right? So artifact name, I can call this test output here. Okay, and the folder name that I want this time is test hyphen output. Okay, so here I can name it as test output. Okay, let me add it. Okay, so we have done two changes to get the output files of our reports. Let's see if it runs successfully or not. I'm saving it and I'm directly merging into the main branch. And when I merge into the main branch, then the code will run automatically. I need not to click on this run. Let's see. I will go to this pipelines. Okay, there is a failure. Let's see what is the failure. Okay, we did some mistake. In line number 25, there is a mistake. So we'll go to pipeline and open this pipeline. Okay, line number 25 here. So I think when we were copy pasting by mistake, this got deleted. So that's why it was giving error. So let me save it and again merged it. Right, and since we have written the trigger as main and we have pushed something into the main, it should run automatically. We'll go to pipelines. If you see, it is running now. Okay, this is running now. At a time, it will run only one because uh, we just have one a parallel agent uh, allotted to us. And sometimes it will be in queue because it's a shared agent. Like uh, Microsoft does not give you a dedicated agent, right? They can't give you because we have not paid for it. Right, so sometimes you have to wait. So here, if you see current position in queue is two here and it is waiting. Meanwhile, I'll tell you that how you can, how these pipeline can run automatically. So for scheduling it, you can click on the three dots and then come on trigger. And here you can set that when you want to run. So I can schedule it that every alternate day Okay, or let's say twice in a week on Tuesday and Thursday. And I would select the time as India time. Okay, so 5.30. And uh, what time it should run? It can run at 3 p.m. daily okay, on Tuesday and Thursday. And I can include that what all branches it should run, right? I can have various branches. So let me put main over here and then I will say save. So what will happen is now every Tuesday and Thursday at 3 p.m. this would be running, right? Or uh, today is what today is Monday. Let me put Monday and to show you, I'll put the timing here as 44. Like let's see that in the next two minutes, whether it runs or not. So I am saving it, okay? So on 40, 44, it should run. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and today is a Monday. Let's go to pipeline. Okay, this pipeline is still waiting because since I created a demo before uh, recording this actual video, that's why you seeing that there is another pipeline of mine which is running, which is this web automation one, where I don't have the plugin and all those changes, right? So let it 
finish or let me cancel this pipeline for now. And you can cancel also, like open any pipeline and you can cancel here. So in between, if it is running, uh, it will stop. Okay, so I have canceled this and let's see now my will get the agent and it will be run. Okay, it has initialized the job. And let's see this time we have the two tasks that we added, publish pipeline artifact, right? So uh, let me quickly summarize. Meanwhile, what we did, we run locally and then we we use the task in the agent to run the Maven, right? We even have a command line task to show you how we can know about more about that system, right? Sometimes you will face problems re related to paths and all that you are not getting paths. So this command line task will help you a lot uh, by which you can know that in which folder things are happening or where is the particular thing, right? After that, if we want something output of that, we can use this publish pipeline artifact. I'm not yet showed you that where we can see that where the output will come. So uh, let it run. And also the time is 344 for which uh, we ran it. Let's see if there is already a build waiting, right? So if you see now that this was the build which I started five minutes ago, but this one automatically came. And also you will, I will show you that an email will come to my email ID, which is here, where it will tell me that uh, whether the build was successful or not. I will show you that also. Let this one complete, right? It's still running. So if you see this, I have got this email where the name of the repo is written, right? Or the pipeline name is also, pipeline name is there, right? And it is telling that for how long it ran, right? Apart from that, it is also telling that how many cases were there, right? And all three were passed. So you will see details like this and total run duration as well. So this is very helpful, right? On every... Tuesday and Thursday, I will start getting such emails, right? Let's go back to our pipeline. So pipeline has started and it will, it is running both the browsers parallelly. If you see that the started command has come together almost for all three of them. And this command is coming because I have just given only for once, right? So whatever console logs are there, you can search here. So let's see the command line, which I showed you, right? That, so if you see here, I have given the Maven command to know the version, it has come, right? And it is also telling that uh, the directory, which is generally the current directory, what all things were present. So it has shown that all these files were present when it started. Okay, and these tasks also ran successfully, right? And let me show you that where is the output that would be coming. So if you see here to published, right? So this is the thing over here. If I click on this to publish, I have my output folder, right? I can get the email report here. So in the next video, we'll see that how you can see this email report without coming to this and opening because it's a headache, right? Like you open here and then you come here and then you open this emailable report. How we, what if we can see it directly? Right, so hope you don't face any issues while doing this, right? So now you see that the pipeline which was scheduled, it is running as of now. And all of this is consuming my minutes, right? So you can use as per the, the, the number of repos that you have, right? So if I go here in the parallel jobs in project settings, so if you see, I have used 96 out of 1800 minutes this month, right? So daily, if I will run, I can calculate that uh, how uh, how much each of my pipeline takes. So I can come here in pipelines, right? This is the pipeline. I can just uh, rename also from here, right? Instead of web automation too, I can say web automation nightly pipeline. And you can create multiple pipelines also, right? Then multiple YAML files will be there. The name of the YAML file would be different, right? So now the name is different, right? So this is my pipeline, which I have scheduled, right? which will be running on Tuesday and Thursday. So hope uh, this has helped you in running your Azure repos. The process would remain more or less same for GitHub. We'll cover it in the next video, right? And the HTML part as well, that how you can show. We just have to do a little modification here. Rest all will remain same. 
and so hope you are liking this series and if you are getting stuck do let me know i will definitely help you thank you for watching